What's up crew? Today I'm going to be talking about red wolves in my new series where I talk about endangered species. Let's get into it. Red wolves are a species that is native to the southeastern United States, or they once were because now their numbers are as low as 15 in the wild, and they only inhabit eastern North Carolina in the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge. They are critically endangered according to the IUCN and they have a lifespan of about six to seven years. This species once inhabited many ecosystems, but now is really only limited to the brushland swamps and coastal prairies of North Carolina. This species was first documented by John James Audubon when he denoted the differences between the red wolf and the gray wolf. The red wolf is Canis rufus, and the gray wolf is Canis lupus. Now, with this, there is some debate to the species classification. Some say it is a subspecies of the gray wolf, but the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, along with the IUCN, has a red wolf as a separate species, Canis rufus. Their numbers did decrease heavily due to predator control tactics in the early 20th century, along with habitat loss. There are around 240 in captivity, currently giving hope to the species. Because they were declared extinct in the wild in 1980, breeding efforts have reintroduced them into the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge and that breeding efforts have continued with those 240 in captivity. I was looking at iNaturalist to learn more about this species, and I actually found that in 2018 and 2019, tracks of red wolves were found in Florida's St. Vincent National Wildlife Refuge. I went to the refuge's website, and I was able to find that they had a 2019 litter of the, of the red wolves, and it's very likely that they still take up refuge there after three years. Their diet consists of mainly small mammals like raccoons, rabbits, and rodents, and even the occasional white-tailed deer. All these animals are present at the St. Vincent Wildlife Refuge, so I don't see why they wouldn't be able to survive there for a long period of time. You might have heard the name Red Wolf in the news recently, as the Washington football team was considering to rename their team to the Red Wolves. However, copyright issues made them unable to change their name to this, but we'll see what their new name will be on February 2nd or whenever they're announcing that. While the reintroduction did technically work, there was a lot of struggles with keeping the wolves there. Their numbers are still steadily declining, unfortunately, due to some man-made issues like gunshots, vehicle collisions, competition with their brother or their cousin, I guess, the coyote, which due to habitat fragmentation, due to development, have been able to slowly creep into the, basically their exclusion zone where, only, where red wolves are the only canid that can exist. But a big problem facing these wolves is climate change and the threat of rising sea levels. Their habitat is right along the coast of North Carolina on a peninsula that has a very low elevation. If climate change continues to occur at the rate it does, these wolves could lose almost 90% of their habitat. You might be thinking now, what can I do to help these wolves? Well, there's several things you can do. You can support the AZA, which is the American Zoological Association. You can support AZA accredited zoos, which two of them are actually right here in Texas, the Fort Worth Zoo and the Fossil Rim Wildlife Center. And third, you can speak up about animal conservation. This is why I'm starting this series. I wanted to bring attention to a lot of the species that a lot of people actually don't know that much about but are the ones that are in the most trouble so thanks for watching and let's save the red wolf